You guys, I love to bake, but lately it's felt like my apartment is closing in on me. So I had this idea to turn half of my very small living room into a baking station. And I'm gonna share with you how I did it start to finish from the DIY to the actual pantry part this of it. This is definitely not a tutorial, this is just what I did. I thrifted this little white table and it was 15 bucks at Goodwill. I painted it a matte black and again, I'm not a DIYer. I didn't even wash or clean or anything. I just painted over this table and called it a day. I then hung up some of this white backsplash and it's actually meant to be permanent but I just used 3M strips and hung it up and I really just tacked it up because I knew I was going to screw the shelves over the top of it. Once I had hung one row of it I then came in with these shelf brackets and you guys again I'm not a very hardcore DIYer. I literally bought a little screwdriver to hang these shelves but it does the trick and also you can tell I'm not a DIYer because I didn't check for studs or anything like that. I just hung it up but I do actually think these are pretty level. I did have a little level thing. Anyway yes very professional here. I am a baker not a DIYer but I hung these shelves and you guys these were just boards that I had bought and stained a nice honey color and I thought it went really well with the black and the white. Move the table in front of it and topped it off with some marble tiles. Next I assembled this black shelf and I just wanted some pantry space to kind of store my cake plates and stands and a few other things so um, I just assembled that and then I started putting stuff on it and I put um, like I said cake plates and my charcuterie boards and then I ended up throwing a few pantry ingredients that weren't as cute like um, oil and peanut butter and stuff like that and put that in a bin and then added some of my cookbooks. One of my favorite parts of this transformation was filling all the pantry containers. And so for my pantry containers, I kept it really simple. You guys, you can spend so much money on this. Like the the small, like cute jars at Target were $11. It's like $11 per ingredient. I can't do that. So the way I ended up doing it was I bought um, mason jars and these um, are a wide mouth mason jar. And I just filled those with most of my ingredients. Um, and that was for all like nuts and coconut and graham cracker crumbs, all of that kind of stuff and then I added on um, one of these um, black like ball leak proof lids and I really like how they look and I also think like price wise they're pretty good I think it's about a, a little over a dollar for the jar and a little over a dollar for the lid which two bucks for a nice like sealed container um, that's fairly aesthetic is not bad and then um, for my spices I wanted to only have spices that I use um, for baking. I have like my cooking ones still in my cupboard and some of them were already in kind of like somewhat aesthetic jars and then I bought some more jars um, at Target and then transferred them and then one thing that I did was like super nice is like um, if I'm never going to shake a certain spice like I'm never going to shake ginger. Like I just left the shaker off because you have to pull it off every single time you want to shake something. Insane right? Um, and so yeah, that was a pretty quick process and I know a lot of people put labels on them But I always feel like it's a little silly like labeling your pecans like okay Yeah, they're pecans, but the spices I knew I would mix up if I didn't or I would have to spend a lot of time like Smelling them to figure out which was which so on some of them I did end up writing like on the bottom just like a quick note and again I just kind of like the clean look without the labels um anyway so just labeled some of those spices and actually like if I could tell I didn't label them um, and that was kind of what I went with. And then for my three big pantry ingredients, my flour, my powdered sugar and my granulated sugar, I put them into these massive jars and I am loving them. They're super beautiful. And then to finish out this space, I just added my mixer. I'm super pumped because I think it's a good spot to have it. So one thing that I've been wanting is a place to put my aprons. Now you guys, I have a very large apron collection and it's not all gonna fit here, but I did hang up three hooks and they're super cute. Um, anyway, just hung those up with a screw, nothing too crazy and yeah. Okay, are you guys ready to see the full baking station in all its glory? Here she is. So I can only back up so far, but I'll try my best to show you this. Again, it's a small apartment. Okay, um, so first of all, I'll give you all the context. So there's my kitchen, okay? And then here is um, like the baking rack. So I've got cupcake liners up there, a bunch of cake stands, cookbooks, my grandma's recipe boxes. And then there's a few like ingredients there like oil and Pam and stuff that I didn't want over there, but I wanted it as part of the station. Um, and then more cake plates. And then you guys, this shelf still needs work. This is where I'd like to put all like my piping bags, all that, but I need containers and I couldn't find the ones I wanted um, before I shot this video. So anyway, 
to be continued. You can just write that there. And then at the very bottom, I've got my um, boards and stuff in there. Actually kind of a mess, but anyway. Um, and then we've got this, it's just super aesthetic. Um, and then yeah, three of my favorite aprons hung up there. Okay, and then finally the baking station. So you guys, I am really in love with the aesthetics of this. So first of all, when I actually bake, I'll pull this curtain like across so it's not in the baking station. But anyway, I cannot live with curtains on one side because it will make me crazy. Um, and then, yeah, so the marble and then the mixer and the baking ingredients. So the flour, sugar, powdered sugar. And then you guys, don't you love the backsplash? Okay, and then the boards kind of staying that honeyish color. And then you guys, this is the one again to be determined. I don't know if I should put decor up there. You guys can tell me in the comments, what do you think I should put up there? But anyway, this is the baking station. Oh, and then this is my, I'll show you this too. This is my half a living room. This is the living room, this couch, this TV. How do I watch TV? I don't know. And you might ask, what are you making first in this baking station? Chocolate truffles. I will see you next week.